Greetings, my human friends. This is Rudolf of Germany, the tall white alien. Soon we have the year 2018. And there is a lot of interesting developments which I will speak of today. First, in the last video I spoke about Bitcoin. I don't want to go deeper into that. Only I want to say that the time of Bitcoin is come to be replaced by a much more sufficient system. Bitcoin itself is, is slow, becomes expensive and cumbersome and does not hold what it was promising. And there are better applications in store. There is a better kind of a blockchain system on the horizon. So after the growing pains of the blockchain, there will be some much smoother applications in the years to come. This is the good news for uh, 2018, 19 and 20. But I also want to speak shortly about the, for many people in America and all over the world, puzzling decision of Donald Trump as the representative of the United States, recognizing Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Well, some of you may say, we voted for Donald Trump because he promised the average American to bring jobs to the country, to dry out the swamp, the political swamp and corruption and criminality of the last administration. We always saw the Democrats and the, the Clintons as the ones catering to uh, certain forces of finance and uh, that all of this we want to get rid of. We want to have a president who stands for American values. And then all of a sudden he caters to the Jewish lobby in the United States and many of them have uh, double passports, they have the, uh, double citizenships. Many of these high finance people, by the way, the same who were standing behind the Clintons and the Obamas, the same people who stood behind them now are controlling the dump, the, uh, the Trump clone. And uh, he would have lost power a few months ago and he would be gone. And he's still there in power. You may wonder, he still sit as a president of the United States, not because he is so strong or by chance or whatever, he is sitting there because he gave in to the same powers which were controlling the Clintons and also the Obama uh, administration. Because he surrendered to the same people who run America and vast parts of uh, this globe before, that's the reason he still is being in power. He surrendered to big capital, which is also controlling, which is a part of the military industrial complex. And for that he had to do he had to do two things. He had to prove his loyalty and you have he had to give a gift to these power players, to the financial masters of this planet. Number one, he had to give an enormous amount of billions of dollars for new weaponry which nobody needs on this planet. Wars in the future will be fought on a completely different level which is being fought in the world wide web, in the internet, in the computer world which is so powerful, you can, of course, everybody knows you. The water supply, electricity supply, internet, everything is running by the internet today. And the ones who have the highest developed technology will win any war. One push of a button will put a whole country out of existence. 
because no country can exist without electricity, water, internet, etc. Because 90% of everything runs of it, on it. And people will die of hunger a few weeks after this is shut down. So, bringing $700 billion into uh, the military industrial complex to play with is nothing but money laundering because nobody needs new tanks, new airplanes, new weaponry, steel ships and, and vehicles to drive around using gasoline from one country to the next to shoot at some well or less well equipped soldiers on the other side. These wars are over. There are no more wars as you know them. Terrorism has been invented so some people with very little brain and a truck to run people over or shoot with a machine gun into a group. These terrorist situations have been invented to get an alibi to create more weapons, but it is over. The police can deal with one or the other person who runs over people on the street. There are no more wars of that nature. Seven hundred million dollars, a billion dollars invested into the industrial complex, the military industrial complex, is a gift, a money laundering to the financial powers of this world. They are building useless trucks and tanks in order to gain enormous amounts of money out of the pockets of the American taxpayer who pays for hardware, which is absolute since several generations actually, since the Second World War or maybe the Korean War. No war in, not even Vietnam, had to be fought like that except people want to make money of it. That was the very first proof of loyalty of Donald Trump to the financial lobby, to the financial masters of the world, which have put him in their slavehood, which enslaved Donald Trump. He had to prove that he is a good slave, so he gave 700 billion to the financial masters, had that money laundered in order to get into the pocket of the same small group who run the world anyway. But that's not enough. The same financial group said, okay, now since you gave us so much money, we also want to see that you are making Jerusalem the capital of our country, of Israel. I want you in the face of the whole world declare yourself a friend of Israel and in the face of the whole world declare Jerusalem as the capital of Israel and this way you also declare yourself officially and the American public to the slaves of Israel and the ones who are standing behind it, which are the same ones of course who are cashing in on the 700 billion defense deal he made a little bit before. This is the only reason Donald Trump is still in power. He is not in power at all. The clone, as I spoke of, of Donald Trump. But he is being used by the same financial dark state as anybody before him. And for him, a sociopath as he is, to stay in power is so important to prove that he is the most powerful man on earth, is so important for him that he sold out on all his ideas he had before, on all the promises for America he had before, and he is now a puppet of Israel and the financial lobby, the financial dark state which is running the world. And this he did, and this will not be the last proof of his loyalty to his new, his new masters. There will be more coming in the future. 
This is the prediction I'm making for 2018, that Donald Trump is now completely controlled by the same deep state. And interestingly enough, once the alternative press, or let's say Fox News and uh, uh, these kind of people, once they are sold to Donald Trump about as a uh, as an alternative to uh, to to the uh, Obama administration and Clinton, once they uh, were so positive about Donald Trump in the beginning, they are sticking to him right now. Even if he is betraying all the values of America, your conservative alternative news organizations. Uh, in, What's the name of this guy? Um, uh, I forgot his name. Anyhow, all of these people from, from the alternative uh, news organizations, which are on the, on the right side of the spectrum, all of these people are still sticking to him, even if he becomes an agent of Israel. I mean, if you do not like an invasion of Arabics, Arabic countries, of Arabic people, of Muslims into America and Europe. That does not mean that you, on the other hand, have to sell out to the Zionists. There has to be a good balance. You do not have to sell your own country to the Zionists uh, just because you promised people before to save them from unchecked and uncontrolled Islamism. Remember that. Rudolf of Germany wishes you a new year.